All right. So let's see here. Now, um, I got plenty of ammo and I got two types just in case I'm wrong on this. I put in some more Vespas. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set uh, this other set in as uh, special in my, uh, in my setup. And that way I can swap them out if something's getting too damaged and I can put drones right back out again of the right type. Couple of uh, Mimitar drones for speed. And then because for some reason I think that the salvage is worth it only because I'm a hoarder in game. Mm -hmm. In real life, uh, I'm not. I can prove it. Let me prove it. Well, uh, look at all that free space in here. You know, it would be it'd be full of stuff if I was a uh, hoarder in real life. So, do you not hear any music? Yeah, it's really light. Maybe it's just the song. So, all right. Oh, and then this, this Tetramon Resistance, that's just a one. How much does a one uh, give you? Only 2%. Oh, wait. No, this is a resistance booster. It gives 2% resistance for two hours, so I'd get it for four. That's an interesting booster. Oh, yeah. Green screen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Here, I'll show you another view. I got another view. How about this? See? There we go. Oh, I, you can see I got, uh, you know, a seat cushion on the floor and a power cable on it. But other than that, everything here is just regular stuff. Um, yeah, how interesting. Are people buying these on the market? No. Somebody's paying a hundred thousand for, for them. All right, well, I'm going to consume it. And then I may as well consume this too. I know it's just a basic, but you know, two days. Wow, people are selling them for 19 million? Holy cow. Okay. Seems like a lot. But I put that into give myself a little extra boost. Chair looks comfy. Yeah, I bought this. Uh, God, this is a lazy boy office chair. It is comfy. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's got really good back support. I did a good job on figuring this one out. All right. Let's go find trouble. Actually, no, let's go find excitement. Trouble means my ship's blowing up. I'm not ready to have it blown up yet. All right, we're gonna move them to special. And then salvage drone is gonna go into salvage so I can salvage with five drones. You don't like that one. Try that. Start. Oh, I should check on my other guy. He's just floating out here in space. Uh, there's a crimson gauntlet that's appeared. And he's just... Flying along out here. Nobody's really bothering him or anything. Maybe other people got the same idea. 
Um, I guess he's okay. I'm gonna dock him up. Because I've been accepted. not paying attention to him. I think it'd be better if I docked him up. All right, we'll come back and look at him later. All right, heading out. I'm not gonna, I wouldn't do one in this system even if I saw it. I went and got snack, some Ritz crackers. Probably not gonna be swimming in these boosters. Yeah, maybe. We'll just have to see how long I can swim with them. I've got I've got a couple of characters that are skill farming. And so I can hand them off to them. No skill a uh, couple of skill farming characters I got. I got them up to bio five and everything. Can you skin on this? I have another one here that's pretty cool. Got this one here too. It's one of the special ones from one of the Plex packs. If I remember right. No, the login rewards. You can't get all the skins through it. Which, by the way, 
those of you who are running alphas, there's a lot of login rewards, and it's like, what, 600,000 skill points in total if you're Omega. So what you do is you keep claiming them as an alpha, and then you spend $3.75. We got it in our store for the weekend fleet pack that'll make you Omega for three days and gives you like 50 plex. But then, then uh, you can actually claim all of the stuff as long as you've been claiming daily, at the end, you can claim all, you can back claim all of it. And you'll get that 600,000 skill points. All right, there's nothing in here. Look, and I'm not finding anything. Still nothing. Warp drive active. Why are we not jumping? Did I forget to tell it to jump? Mm, maybe. Oh, we got... We got peoples here. Who are... Uh, Not welcome. Cream right. sniper tipped? Oh, I I wouldn't say that. Um, I would say though that I don't know who they are. Um.
wormholers, laser hawks. Yeah, okay. The laser hawks, they, you know, they pop out of their wormholes and they uh, shoot people. That's their general MO. Heard some music earlier. Oh, I um Right now there's the music playing just really lightly. Probably find something to play. Mm. This is about this is a story that takes place in Null. A song. Really, I went everywhere. God, that's a long way. It looks like it's right near here, but it's not. That is one of my favorites. Oh yeah, I'll play it at the end of the show. No filaments left, no way to escape. Every stargate blockaded, sealing the fate. No satisfaction for them, he thought in his fate. In the local chatty fight, my ship you'll not take. Dog said self-destruct, sealing his fate. The final act of defiance in the cold boy's embrace. I'm going to take a look over here real quick. A fool 
Good but brave in the Horde's arcade M6 Pilot S9 returned to its normal parade The legend of the cut game has been made A till denied where bold moves are weighed A perfect story of heroes and rogues were made To all capsuleers, very well played All right, see so what we can find here. Keep hearing me talk about containers and stations to organize. Have you tried using the cargo filter? I have no idea what a cargo filter is. But I do know that if you're talking about just filtering what's in your cargo hold, that there is no way that would work for me because I will fill it up. I'll just have too much stuff in it, and it won't let me put anything else in it. And then I'll be sad. Something like that. Mm-hmm. It just won't work. Map drive active. What is this? Is it a raid? It's a raid! Thank you, buddy. Nice to see you here. And um, so we are in search of Noel um, Crimson Harvest Sites and playing a little music at the same time. Stuff that uh, I've written the lyrics. That's all Eve related, of course. Yeah. Like this song here. It's about the uh, Caldari Secession. Oh, I'm going back through the heart of our area here. Okay, fine. I'm looking for sites, but I'm not gonna find many near our home system. Seem to be doing okay with uh, this Gila. It's not very expensive. I'm able to do all the sights out here. It's my Omni Gila. Made for Abyssal stuff, but it's working fine. 311 million. I paid a little bit more than that. Null tax. Got a good show, Pando. My computer's holding up. It melted down a couple days ago. Like, literally. Alright. Nothing here. And we've got a fleet moving through.
How does the computer melt down? Well, yeah, actually, it's a little bit different than meltdown. I had water cooling, and apparently it punctured or leaked or something, and the power supply started having problems, and so did the cooling. So overheated, power supply went out. And it looks like one of the ports on my video card is not right, too. <laughs> I'm building a new machine, but I'm waiting for the Ultra 9s. They come out in on the 24th. Yeah, so I um um yeah, I, I'm not too terribly happy about what happened, but you know, and that was so, and it wasn't caused by the hurricane, so we had a lot of damage from the hurricane, and I was out for a week because of the hurricane, and then back one day, and I'm like, okay, I'm almost back at full working capacity. I got all this other shit done from the hurricane and everything. And then, of course, next day, computer goes out. So, um, you can send broken GPUs for like $120 for them to be fixed if it's just a port. Um, so, I don't know what the problem is. I'm assuming that it's something from power related because the power supply was having these issues or it got wet from the the uh, water cooling or um, I don't know. I don't know. And I and you don't see it on the stream, but it's on this other monitor when I when I anything that requires the GPU on on that other monitor then I start getting lines across it. So, yeah, I've, uh, I, I, I busted something. So, we got um, in, let's see here, move waypoint. I um, am not gonna just build another computer just like today, because the uh, Ultras come out, the Intel Ultras come out on the 24th. And so I'm gonna wait for that. They have the NPUs in them, which is something that's pretty new as far as CPUs go. Uh, that is uh, AI uh, stuff, and, and these can do 48 teraflops of AI, which sounds incredibly large. I, I don't know how to compare it to like gigahertz or whatnot, but um, 48 trillion transactions per second. And doing that all Welcome local on the, the machine. SDU underscore craft just Dragon. followed. Um, and, and so, uh, SDU craft, SDU craft, thank you for the follow. And so when um, I do a lot of AI stuff, a lot of AI stuff. And so uh, the being able to process AI locally on my machine here, I'm really looking forward to that. And so there's a lot of stuff that I'm already doing, how I've incorporated it in the shows. Uh, some of it you guys can recognize, some of it you don't. Um, so ain't gonna uh, use it still cloud stuff yeah so there are more applications coming out for local and that's what i'm i'm interested in i don't i now i've been paying for stuff like i pay for chat gpt um and uh i was paying for mid journey for a while uh i've got a couple of other a couple of other things that that i um pay for as well uh, i tried paying for gemini and Gemini is crap, so uh, I'm gonna stop paying for that. Uh, I haven't I haven't found the, the value in it, and so 
Anyway. I ain't finding shit out here. I'm looking. So, like this music, I wrote the lyrics, but the um, but the instruments and the vocals are AI. And then I have um, I have some other stuff. I have um, I have an occasional show host that I can that I can add in co-host. And I'm not ready to do them right now. I, I haven't figured out how to set up my audio right for it. So it's a little hokey. But I think if we don't figure out AI and use it to our fullest advantage, going to get left behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, because it's here whether we like it or not. All right. Nothing here either. Feeling kind of like I'm finding a whole bunch of nothing. Don't go water cooling on the next one. No, and I replace this uh, this with a fan. So, but I something really strange happened. I had to take it into the shop. Now I I build my computers. I usually diagnose them myself on everything, and but uh, I couldn't quite figure this out. So. Uh, I took it in the shop knowing that they'd have some diagnostic tools and everything, and they figured it out. But then they also told me something else. They told me with the water cooling failing that it caused four of my cores on my um, CPU. I have an i9 uh, CPU. It caused four of the cores out of 10 to overheat and burn lines. Now, I wasn't quite sure what burning lines meant, but what they were saying was it was lines of communication with the cores. And so they actually say that I have degraded, um, I have degraded four of the cores on my CPU from this problem. Okay, this, I can't do anything in this system. There is one here, but I'm not allowed to do anything in here. So I'll just continue on. And now I've never heard of this before. I've never heard of burning out cores or anything like that. And, and so I was just thinking that this was total bullshit, that, that I hadn't heard of this before. And then I came back and I did some Googling on it and I actually found other people talking about it and stuff. And that there is actually software that tests the throughput of each core and uh, that they can find that some of the pathways have been burned if um, if they don't get the same amount of throughput. So apparently I damaged four of my cores. Um, it's pretty wild. Like, I never heard of that shit before. But uh, there seems to be some credence to it. Now my computer's still working fine, and I don't know which four cores it was. And they said that they would continue to work. They're just degraded. So... I guess that's what it is. Anyway, um, I am. Uh, I got a site here. We're going to do the site. So, anyway, I'm just limping along on this machine until the uh, 24th when I can order the parts for my other machine and uh, the new the new Ultra CPUs. And so I'm going to do an Ultra. I haven't figured out. There's two Series 2 versions, and I, and I don't know which uh, I'll be doing yet. Uh, most likely the bigger one, as long as the performance looks like it'll be okay with... Um, okay, is there an Oracle here? There is. We've got to get that Oracle first. That Oracle hits hard. So... All right, here we go. Get these guys out there, see if they can not get demolished before we take them out. It's apparently the uh, Oracle that was one-shotting the other, the drones on my other ship. So. Yeah, the water cooler damaged a few things. And so, I, you know, I'm happy the computer's working. 
but it is uh, certainly not working to uh, the normal capacity. So. Welcome all. Doing well. How about yourself, buddy? So we weren't talking about the Intel bug, no. And then and then the, the text told me they're like, oh, you don't want to do the the ultra the ultra series. And I'm like, why? And they're like, because it has the same problem as the 13th and 14th generation Intels. And I'm like, okay, right, what's your source? And so they told me some source but now i i grew up in oregon portland and i've been out to the intel manufacturing plant many many times and uh you know i had friends who worked there and stuff and i can tell you that that the um that when people have early samples their engineering samples and they are not the same as the engineering samples are not the same as uh, um, as what the final product will be and everything. So um, I I have a hard time believing that that they have this this same problem. So. You did some running and you regret, regret life choices at this time because you fell down? <laughs> so, all right. Let's, uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's just the loot is not very good on these. So I guess I'm not going to worry about that too much. So, yeah, I'm just going to head over here. Um, sounds like forming. We did 5K yesterday. Well, that's good. I couldn't do 5K. Not in a run. So, um, yeah, anyway, uh, I'll still be going with the Ultra 9 and um and such so i'm not uh not going to to be uh i'm 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 doing it i'm doing it i'm doing it i'm doing it he kept trying to talk me out of it and i was getting pissed off because i'm like it's my choice i can do it if i want to don't tell me how to compute my stuff. Yeah. All right. Let's let's get another song going here. How about to remember to treat my drones well? I'll Look with a nub. Well, thank you, buddy. It's my party. Yes. Ten thousand gold to everybody here. In honor of Locable the Nub donating 10 bucks. I don't know why it didn't alert go off. I didn't see one. Thank you for that. And, um, uh, Locable, did you know that you're actually a sloth? I've got a picture of you coming up here. Give me just a second. I gotta, I gotta shoot some rats first. All right, here we go. You hit warp speed and away you flew. Oh, there is an oracle here. Oh, Marky Boo Hoo. We got to go get that oracle. Lost in space like tears in the rain. Marky's heart ache is a pilot's pain. He warps off fast, forgets his crew. <laughs> That's what your boss says about your work ethic. Like yeah, well, just wait. Horse. 
I got the picture over here. I, I just I just gotta pay attention to to not lose track of my drones, so don't go anywhere. Because I got I got a picture of you and your cosplay at, at the latest cosplay conference. And don't deny it. Because it won't do you any good. I got photo evidence. Left your drones behind. Oh, Marky Boo Hoo. All right. We're doing okay here. Usually kill the small stuff first. The oracles the are nasty. The, the, the oracles tear up drones. Marky's drones lost their signals dead. He's like a cowboy who lost his right. All forgets his heart every time. Come on, die already. Uh, kill him, drones. Now I'm almost out of power. Yeah, dim because the lights are going out because I'm almost out of power. Yeah, the refrigerator went out too. Kind of like in the storm. Looks pretty grim, our refrigerator went out. Lessons hard and true. Hopes his drones can forgive him too. Oh, Marky. Oh, there's another oracle. No, man, I'm getting torn up. Your drones. Are drifting in the cosmic zone. Come on, come on, come on. You hit warp speed and away you flew. Come on. God damn it. Left your drone. I'm gonna run out of power here. Oh Marky Boo Hoo. I don't wanna run out of power. I'm not interested in running out of power. Yeah, thanks. So if you spot drones adrift, think of Marky's tail. All right, got him. Oh, drones, Don't come on back. Fleet in this cosmic gale. All right, come Scoop on back, drones. Up, Get in my belly. Let's go, Show let's go, let's go. Light. Okay, there we go. Showing you the light. Hold on tight. Yeah, hold on tight. You guys are going out next. Make their futures bright. Yeah, bright with explosions. That's the goal. I am so nuded out. Oh my god. Yeah. So. Yeah, I ran out of power. I know. I know. Yeah, I see that. Literally. Where's my cap? Why is my cap not rebuilding when they're not newting me? Oh my god. It's like I have to push start it. Damn thing. I don't want to hear about it. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Got some more coming in. Hear the dramatic music. The capacitor is empty. Great, thanks. Let's see here. Actually, go for the curse. The curse is probably the one that's most likely to newt me.
You gonna scoop up your wayward drones singing to me the whole time? Yeah, I'll sing another song about drones. It's, uh... Galante. The birth of drones. Oh yeah, yeah, we need the yeah, we need the cosplay. Okay. We got time to look. There we go. Here is Locable the Nub at TwitchCon playing a sloth. It's in some sort of suit where he's underwater. This guy thinks he's pretty impressive. So, anyway, Locable, I'll put that up into our Discord. You can grab a copy of that if you want. And um now everybody has proof mm -hmm, of the uh, the awesome cosplay you've been doing. Yep. So you can grab that image. It's yours. We were talking about AI. I'm uh, I'm not too bad at prompting. Wait, okay, I'm gonna actually build up my cap a little bit because I think it'd probably be a good idea. <laughs> yeah, here it is. So, Welcome yep. To the dragon. That was uh, Locable the Nub at uh, TwitchCon in cosplay. JJ, thank you for the follow. Welcome. I gotta write some more music. I I actually have a song. I have never played it before. I'll play it now while we rebuild the cap. I'm going to stop this song and I'm going to play this other one. You guys are the first to hear this. Now, uh, I want you to envision this one's not coming out until it has a music video to go with it. I want you to envision Loru. Y'all know who Loru is, right? I want you to envision Loru talking about being an even joyer, how he does, just like this. And being in the 1930s, playing on his computer of, you know, he's, he's playing, he's playing Eve along with his friends. And so this is the song that goes along with that video. Piloting my cruiser. Everything's in sight. Warp drive humming. Everything feels right. Ships fully fitted, ready for the fight. In the world of Eve, we're reaching new heights. I can see Laura singing this. Joyer, soaring high above. Battles and adventures. And talking like this. Love. Join me in the universe. There's so much to do. By you and Eve and Joya, be one too. Mining in the belt, resources abound. Trading on the market, making ice rounds. Alliances are forged, some bridges we burn. In the game of Eve, there's so much to learn. I'm an Eve and Joya, story not above. Battles and adventures, glories that we love. Join me in the universe, there's so much to do. Are you an Eve and Joya? Be one too. Be one too. Come on, join us. You know you want to you want to enjoy Eve too. From worm 
Bowls, the Nullsack, the journey is a prize. Every jump we take, new challenges arise. The galaxies are playground, endless and wide. Come and be an even joyer, take it all in stride. Be an even joyer. I'm an even joyer, soaring high above. Battles and adventures, stories that we love. Join me in the universe, there's so much to do. Are you an even joyer? Be one, two. Set your courses, not the path. The adventure's all with you. In the world, leave you one line. It's all waiting for you. I'm an even joyer, through and through. Come aboard. Be an even joyer too. Yes, this is AI. I wrote the lyrics, but uh, but yes, uh, AI doing the music and the vocals. Um, and you guys say it reminds you of Fallout. Well, it's because Fallout uses 1930s music. This is classic 1930s music. And uh, so I really, I, I really can't wait until I'm able to get the video together. I've been working on it. The tools are not quite right yet. Um, and um, if I can't get the video stuff to work within the next month or so, I'll probably go with the video having the words on it. And we'll have like 1930s um, um, uh, World War II propaganda style posters about join us we want you yeah something like that so all right and uh back to back to the uh actual music that well you know other stuff let's see here here's one about killing rats mm -hmm. while we go in and finish off these Welcome rats to the dragons the cough underscore stars just followed. Akov, thank you for the follow. Welcome. In New Eden space, where the stars don't sleep, a lone Ishtar glides, where the shadows creep spin master at the helm drones ready to fly in the heart of the Four hundred and twentieth viewer. Ah, huh, look at that. Four hundred and twenty viewers. Nice. Engines roar to life. A graceful spin in sight. Drones unleashed and deadly. Piercing. They are newting the crap out of me. My drones are getting a little bit beat up. Come on, shoot him. Spin my drone ship right round. Round drone, drone ships right round. In the chaos, I'm the queen. Both drones are taking some damage. Cruisers break into 
Swap out the drones. Bring out the specials. Spin my drone ship right, right. Welcome to the dragons. Put long tacos just follow. Put long tacos. Welcome. Just about out of power. Oh, I'm completely capped out. About to have to pull these drones in. Pulling these guys in. Spin my drone ship right, right, round, round, drone ships right, right, round. In the chaos, I'm the queen. Slowing down, spin my drone ship right, right around. What's this song? Exclamation point music. And it's called Spin Master. In New Eden's night, where legends are crowned. Spin my drone ship right round, right round. All right, when I'm looting this, I'm going to be thinking about this song here. It's going to be on my mind. More curses. Curses. <laughs> oh, and an oracle. All right. Oh, shit. Okay, they're getting busted up. Oh, and there's the battleship. Okay, well, we got to take care of that oracle. Shit. He's peeling off my shields pretty good. I'm about to run out of power here. Damn it. I'll never recover. I just gotta I just gotta go for this guy here. The other guys will warp off as soon as I kill him. But I have to reload. Oh, 
towards all my trail like a bound in pursuit. Oh, shoot, I shot blue. My ship's burning up, but I'm yelling, this ain't fair. I have pretty good shield regen, even without having power. That loot was sweet, like Granny's apple pie. But I hope this loot's sweet. Now I'm wondering why. Um, passive recharge, I think it's 269 a second. Here I am, just my ship down. Damn it. Those of you watching on Twitch, I have a four stad coming up in two minutes. Oh, I'm trying to get it done. Go get that loot. We got to see what we got here before that kicks in. He just dipped his hat. Johnny boy, you mess up. Worse than a spray cat. There we go. Done. All right, what's the loot? Mm, yeah, it's, you know, it's a dose too. Uh, not very much stuff. Wait, why is he hanging around? Drifting in the night, thinking about that little, how it took flight. All right. I guess I have to hit that. Up like me, singing a space Do you watch on YouTube? We'll see you in the next episode.